Over 63 million telephone lines disconnected are main Buhari government policy to link SIM with National Identification Number, NIN Agency. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The number of active lines fell from 207 million 578,237 I mean 100 in October 2022, 191,618,839 in October 2021, a 7.69% decrease. That is 15,959,338, 498. Okay, this particular man now, the, will I say the Minister of Cyber or I cannot, he's, he's a professor and he's a professor under cyber security, all this tech stuff. I don't know who gave him more, sincerely, but he's a professor. He came out lately and he said that the number of people, subscribers have dropped. And that those people that dropped, they were criminals. Like, and I'm not asking, like, how? How did we end up giving people, people who speak like this, they speak without a professor coming out to say things without making his analysis or research? How? Like, how? How do you come out and say, eh, it is because people don't want, it, don't want, they, they don't want, they don't want the lines to be traced. Do you know that in this country now, once upon a time, people had all the lines in the country. They had Glow, they had Nine Mobile, they have the MTN, they have uh, um, Etel, they had, um, which other one is available now? They had all. That time there was Visa phone, people had Visa phone. But because the security, I mean, the, the economical <laughs> situation in the country, it's no more funny. People are like, uh-uh, let me just maintain three. Or let me even just maintain two. Let the remaining ones go. Yes. And they pick the ones they are familiar with. And they move on with their lives. Is it easy to load, <laughs> to fill up your nine mobile, your MTN? You do that on a daily basis. By the time you do that on a daily basis and you get to accumulate and do your checks and balances at the end of a month, you see how lackadaisical you are we have been with. With the money you have been earning. You see how you're spent it. So you don't come out and say just things. And I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure Nigerians must have really, really dragged him for that comment he made. Except that particular one. They did not see it. Because a lot our, <laughs> our attention is divided in this country. We are asking for justice for Sil um, Sylvester who, who was bullied to death. Or we are asking for the, the almost 17 children who was killed in Ujodu. In Lagos State, or we are asking for the 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 the, the over 40, 40 passengers that was burned to death in Sokoto, or is it which one? Our section are actually divided in this country. I just hope that we get it right come next election. Now the news in detail. A total of 3.97 million lines were disconnected in one year. I made the national identity number subscriber identity module data verification. Data obtained from the Nigerian Communications Communi Communication Commission show. The NCC data revealed that the total number of connected lines in the country fell by 21.79% to 221,229,582,206 in October this year. From two hundred ninety-three million five hundred fifty-four thousand five hundred ninety-eight hundred in October twenty twenty, according to Punch, within the period under review, the number of connected lines was highest in August twenty twenty-one, three hundred twenty-eight million one hundred fourteen thousand five hundred thirty-eight, and lowest in September twenty twenty-one, two hundred twenty-nine million four hundred sixty-seven thousand. 7700. The number of active lines fell from 207 million 578,237 in October 2020 to 191,618,839 in October 2021, a 7.69% decrease. According to the Commission, 37,960,000. 4,600 connected lines were inactive as of October 2021, down from 5,976,661 in 
360 to 100 in the same month last year. The telecommunications companies in the country have been losing subscribers since the Nigerian government began the linking of NRN with SIM cards. Mobile subscribers declined by 7.6 million to 68.9 million, impacted by the regulatory restrictions on new SIM sales and activations. MTN Nigeria Communications PLC has said in its half-year financial statement, according to the company, it is actively in support of a government NIN enrollment program. Airtel in its quarterly financial statement has said, new customer acquisitions were bad until significant projects had been made on linking the active customer base with verified NRNs. Natural churn on the and the customer base led to a loss of 2 million active mobile customers in Nigeria in the fourth quarter of the year, following on from 2.5 million customer loss in the final quarter of the year to March 31, 2021. In December 2020, the Nigerian government banned the sale and registration of new SIM cards and gave a 30-day deadline for people to link their NRN with their SIM cards. The Nigerian government has since extended the exercise to the end of 2021. When the government banned the sale and registration of SIM cards, the total number of connected lines was 300,042,650, and the total number of active lines was 204,228,678. According to the government, the SIM NRN policy is necessary to set strengthen security in the country and trade suspect. However, in September 2021, Zamfara State announced a ban on telecommunication services to block phone access so that criminals will not be able to communicate with one another. Now, let me say this. Let me get this straight. Apart from the fact that people, the economic situation affected people, people find it difficult, very difficult, like very difficult, the NI process was, it is, it is too stressful. I don't know why anything in Nigeria is always like that. The process was too stressful. Do you know how many, do you know, and I think the process was free. But do you know how many people made money from this? And the government will claim they don't know about it. Do you know how many Nigerians suffered extortions? Do you know? And maybe some people will like, look, <laughs> this lines, let me, let me just drop it. I don't need it anymore. Yes, that is just it. They block it, they block it, it's not my problem. That's what they'll say. Of course, we cannot come and say, oh, um, everybody, that is their opinion, and that is their reason. That could be a reason. Now, coming out to say that the NI will strengthen security, I don't understand. Let the ones that we have done, a good number of Nigerians have done that. I think I've done mine, and I'm sure a good number of listeners have done theirs. Let them use that particular data to show us what they can do to help the security situation in the country. Rather than say everybody should do it first, use the one you have at hand. Prove to Nigerians that you can actually use the data to do something good at the end. On this note, we have come to, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.